Dawn Michelle from Makeup or Breakup blog and today I'm going to be reviewing a skincare product from the company Moira which is a K-beauty company and this is their Atomic Water Balm. Okay, forgive me because apparently somewhere in this building someone's banging away with a hammer so there may be some hammering intermittent in the sound like that. Always lovely to hear any day of the week, anytime including the weekends. Here is this lovely brand. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. It's sort of like almost like an ice blue when you look at it. It has a scent. It's not altogether unpleasant, but if you're the type of person that likes things fragrance free, then this would not be for you. And it has some hyaluronic acid in it. And I saw this at IMATS. And normally this thing goes for like $22 to $25. For, let's see how many ounces. This is 1.69 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters. And I just apply it to all the spots that need the moisturizing. And of course, you know, as with any product, you don't try to get it into the eyes. And I put it down my my neck as well. I try to remember to work it up. Um, and that's essentially it. And I use this as my base. This says it's for all skin types. Apply every morning and night after cleansing. And it's made in Korea. So even a good hour or two, even several hours later, my skin feels very soft, supple, plump. And I will put the list of ingredients somewhere here along with the website. So this is a $25 jar. If you are not looking to pay for something that's 50 or 60 bucks, this gives a bit more of a long lasting effect, at least for me with combination skin, than let's say the ELF's Hello Hydration. Even though the Hello Hydration runs for just $12. I don't know how much hyaluronic acid is in there. And there are a couple of other ingredients in here as well that also help with the uh, soothing process. Now I'm gonna read a little bit more about Moira. Um, this gorgeous atomic water bomb. Um, it restores essential hydration with a water-based gel cream, moisturizes, refreshes, and cools skin without leaving a heavy residue, which is true, it does not. Great for all skin types, even sensitive, and it's cruelty-free and vegan and made in Korea. Did I mention that? Now it mentions on their website what the benefits are. Um, hydrates anti-aging benefits, protects skin from environmental damage, is recommended for all skin types, and the claims of course are that it's made in Korea and that it's cruelty free. Some other things, uh, the list of their key ingredients, they also wanna highlight some things. The hyaluronic acid, a molecule that keeps your skin hydrated throughout the day, helping your skin fight against pollution and other aging effects. There's also ginseng root extract, a natural property that balances the skin oils. Then they have Centella, let me see if I'm pronouncing it right. Centella Asiatica Extract. Ooh, that's a lot of noise. Improves skin elasticity and leaves softer complexion. And Rosemary Leaf Extract, which is an antioxidant that helps with anti-aging. I also want to mention that on the morabeauty.com website, they do have something called Afterpay. And the Afterpay is, uh, it's, it says interest-free installments by Afterpay, available between the $35 mark and the $1,000 mark. And it also gives you a little link to learn more details about what that entails. Here, what is Atomic Water Balm? Atomic Water Balm locks moisture in to keep your skin protected from water loss and preventing dryness. It's a solution for flaky skin, for hydration, and what's this last one? Balances oil. <laughs> and you can use day and night, like at the day to start your day or at night to finish off your night. 
and it says how to apply. I showed you, you apply it liberally, you know, around the face. So if I, I put this on before I put on my makeup, and I also use it at night before I go to sleep. I do want to mention that Mora Beauty does offer to ship not just U.S. domestically, but also internationally, but it does have a bit of an asterisk next to the international shipping. What it says to do is to send them an email at help at morabeauty.com with your order details, and they will help determine what will be the best shipping carrier for you at the best price, which is a nice benefit. Let's see what else it tells me here. Order shipped to P.O. boxes and APO FPO addresses must be sent via the United States Postal Service. So this is regardless. It says, please note, some countries will not be eligible for international shipping. So it says here that when you send the email with your order details, this should include items that you would like to purchase and destination address, including country. And then Moira will get back to you with available carrier services and rates based on the information that you provide. So if you want more information, check out morabeauty.com and go to their facts sheet where it talks about shipping and you can see all the information there. The texture feels like a cooling effect, like a gel. So this feels really nice, and especially with the weather changing, this has helped keep my skin a little more balanced. And I feel the hydration stays on my skin a lot longer than the Hello Hydration. The Hello Hydration stays for maybe two to four hours, and then I feel it disappears. Uh, so this would be between the ELF Hello Hydration and the Peter Thomas Roth uh, water drench because that one that one lasts me like two days like if I put it on for one day I get that same hydrated moisture plump feeling effect for at least two days and um, with elf it's like maybe two to four hours and this I would say runs about six or seven so this is pretty good and this is Dawn Michelle from makeup a breakup blog thank you so much for joining me on my latest skin care adventure I will be marking this on my continuing series under skin soothers and smoothers and I will see you on the next video adventure please don't forget to click the like button hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you will know when the next video will be up and let me know in the comments below if you have heard of more of a beauty and whether or not you try some of their products or if you saw them at IMATS, did you pick anything up when they came to New York? Take care.